Doug and PA back with another one. In 2024, why would a man choose to go into teaching? Why? Tell me why, guys, in the comments. Because I don't think they should. Guys, if you're in college right now, don't go for education. You want to go into a female-dominated industry and a female-dominated workplace where we know how toxic that is. Women can't stand each other, let alone you. And especially, hey, look, I'm black, but I can tell you, you, you heterosexual white guys, have fun. Because they will blame everything on you first. And not only that, you're going to be a man around a bunch of children. Most harm that comes to, to children and the elderly are women, but they're going to view you with suspicion. Your entire career, why would you go into education? We're going to get into this article called Male Teachers Are Dying Out in the Education System. Here's why and how to bring them back. Before I do that, like the video, subscribe to the channel, drop a comment. I'd really appreciate it. It shows you support me and what I'm doing over here. And if you had any good male teachers growing up, if you are a male teacher or you're thinking about going into teaching, share your stories in the comment section. I'd really appreciate it. And ultimately, if you do choose to go into education, I will give you, although I do agree with it, I will give you all the respect in the world because male teachers are needed, but why deal with all of the difficulties that come along with it? You want to spend your whole life in a career that's going to view you with suspicion and any promotion or any successes you have are based upon the patriarchy and not your merit? None for me, guys. No thanks. So let's get into this. It says Alpine. For 17-year-old Max Miller, Teaching little ones isn't just about hand painting flowers and pots and then giving them to senior citizens. Although this is one aspect of his job as a part-time educator at the Sunshine Academy Preschool. Miller helps his students who are roughly between the ages of four and 10 paint the pots and prepare the flowers for the senior citizens for Mother's Day. I wanted to be part of this project to show that young men can make a difference in children's lives and to make the grandmothers at Rivers Meadows Senior Living in Alpine feel special. The American Heritage High School student said that the service project and teaching in general brings him and children fulfillment and that he hoped something as small as delivering flowers could show the positive influence of male teachers. I hope that more young men will be inspired to join the ranks of early childhood educators where they can make a real difference in the lives of children and the members of their communities. While male teachers can be positive role models, according to Miller, the male-female teacher discrepancy doesn't reflect positive statistics. 74.3% of the country's teachers are female, and only 25.7% are male, according to the Zippia's research. Now, if this were any issue with the numbers switched around, they talk about there's a crisis for women in this industry because they're only 25%. But because it's a female-dominated industry, there's no crisis. Because men have no crisis in 2024, guys. None at all. Because, because we're men, everything is good. Or we have an advantage in everything. It says, in, in Utah, the disparity is even higher. According to the Utah State Board of Education, 77% of teachers in the public education system, special education system, and the Utah schools for the deaf and blind are female, and 23% are male. It's becoming even more and more difficult to become a teacher that makes a difference whether you're a man or a woman because of just the workload of it and the requirements of it, said Representative Daniel Johnson, uh, in, in Logan, I don't think there are enough male teachers anywhere. As a previous principal of the Edith Bowen Laboratory School and an avid education supporter, Johnson noted that only 40% of teachers in Utah quit after five years of teaching. Yikes! Why would you stay a career in teaching 20, 30 years in teaching, especially in this current environment? No, thanks. If teachers are asked to do more now than ever at the basic level. Most parents have to work. The amount of effort that my parents put into my education at home, parents aren't doing. You have a lot of single moms sending their kids to, do, to school, going crazy, kids attacking teachers on their phones. Yikes. I see why this turnover is so much. Currently, we have a lot of social issues that I think really affect the recruitment and retention of teachers right now, Johnson said. I've heard several people tell me that they're not going to encourage their kids to become teachers, and it's really sad. You know what? Anyone could, could open up TikTok 
or Instagram reels and see why they shouldn't become a teacher. All these kids fighting teachers and yelling and screaming in school. Uh Uh-uh, no way. And then another spin on it. Women teachers have to bring their ideology into classrooms. So there's that, too. Women are... Uh, a lot of women teachers are focused on pushing ideology instead of basic rudimentary education. It says, Joel Lopez, a teacher and soccer coach at Edith Bowen, says that when his parents found out he wanted to teach, they expressed disapproval, instead encouraging him to, to become a doctor or an engineer. Uh, I don't blame him. I've said this many times, guys. If you're a teacher, try going up to a woman, a, a nice-looking woman in a club, or at a bar and tell her that, uh, that you're a teacher and see how fast she freaking rejects you and runs away. Because women know that teachers aren't going to make a lot of money. There's not a lot of um, upward mobility. So you, you better find a, another teacher to have kids with. One strategy Utah could use to employ more male teachers, Lopez noted, is to give teachers the same high respect as first responders and other coveted positions. If you frame it in that way as teachers being leaders and leading the way, then it makes it easier for males to find it as attractive as a profession. Yeah, but then you you still have to deal with the stigma of being a male teacher and the the low pay. And it may not just be social stigma preventing men from becoming teachers. Johnson said, the financial struggles associated with teaching along with the pressure to provide for a family could cause anxiety for men. Exactly. Women have the highest standards of dating and marriage ever. And being a teacher disqualifies you for a lot of women. A lot of men maybe didn't choose education because they're a family person. They want to get married, have children, but... Um, be able to have a life where they can take care of their family based on the pay that they're receiving, Johnson said. Derek Sega, a regional manager at Sunshine Academy, said that many men may not become educators, but they may see that they don't fit in the role, viewing teaching and helping children as a job more suited for women. No, society sees teaching as a, a job more suited for women. We're trying to overcome historical factors, how we view roles of males and females, and then, you know, how that's changed. Sego said that male teachers can provide a key role modeling influence for younger children, one that is different yet just as important as female role models. I think it's great to have male and female figures present in children's lives. I think that what it does is help the kids, especially young boys, Sego said. I think it's really important the way we treat kids, they are our future. I think we all have responsibility to be examples to them. And then there isn't just a lack of male educators and role models, but male teachers of color are few and far between compared to white and female de- demographics. Lopez, who has a bachelor's degree in Latin American studies and another bachelor's in education from Utah State, noted how his Hispanic background has enabled him to help all students feel included and loved. It, it helps bring perspective to educators so that when we do have students who don't fit the norm or who are a little outside of the mainstream, they're like, oh, there is a place for me as well. This did nothing to sway my argument. Why would you become a teacher as a man? I wouldn't be surprised in the next 20 years if this number went down from 25% to 10% because a lot of the older male teachers are going to are gonna retire and they're going to be replaced by women. To teach, you have to forego money and status for um, th- that r- romantic idea of being fulfilled by your job. Women w- w- will take you know, the the struggle at a job over pay and status. Men, we won't. If we're not, most of us, if we're not being properly compensated for, for our work, we're moving on. You have all these, uh, uh, all this social media about, you know, if you go into teaching, you have to find your why. And, you know, you, you may work long hours for little pay, but it's for the kids. It's for the kids. Men are like, uh-uh, I want to get paid. If I'm going to be working 50 hours a week, say, 60 hours a week, it better be reflected on my paycheck. Let me know what you think about this in the comments. Like the video, subscribe to the channel. I'll catch you on the next one.